Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it will be for March 2021 for the sign of Scorpio. So let's pull your first Oracle card. I'm going to pull a few Oracle cards and then we'll go into the Tarot cards. Okay, so what do we have for Scorpio please? <clears throat> and I'm going to choose the first card if it doesn't come out. So what do we have for Scorpio please? message for our lovely Scorpios thank you oh it has <laughs> yeah we have build on solid ground build on things that you can trust that are stable solid secure can be people situations opportunities go for what is going to bring you solidity security safety okay message I mean you know you might be building something <laughs> Some of you might actually be building something here, so that might resonate to Scorpio. Okay, what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Okay, this is some pretty specific for some of you. We have a mother's love. A mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. So if you're finding some instability to do with that message, this is about you have the opportunity to get back on track, find solidity, security in your life. And you're being guided to from the other side. I'm going to pull another card because obviously that's very specific for some of you. Any other message, please? Yeah, a lot of stabilizing energy here. We have stand your ground. Standing your ground is an empowering confidence building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it and you know that by doing so you will be the victor. Okay. Okay, so next message. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides message for our lovely Scorpios March 2021 thank you what do we need to hear please angel spirits guides message for Scorpio thank you 30 number 30 sacred divinity there are two paths ahead and you're being told to focus on the one that brings you solidity stability something you can build on long term interesting okay final message for scorpio please angels spirits guides thank you okay thank you we have ladybird i love this card accept happiness and good fortune archangel premonalic isn't that beautiful accept happiness and good fortune good fortune is coming into your life luck good fortune happiness okay scorpio so let's pull some cards i pull three cards the first card is the message from spirit the second card is what the message pertains to and the third card is any final words or actions to take remember it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you okay what do we have angel spirits guides for scorpio thank you march 2021 what is the message from spirit and remember these are just messages okay what do we have for scorpio please angels spirits guides message for scorpio so the first card that's popped out we have the king of swords two of cups is what it pertains to and the two of wands oh <laughs> the sun is bottom of the deck very nice energy oh it feels so hopeful it definitely feels hopeful you know the king of swords is Aquarian energy male or female energy here Scorpio can be a person coming into your life offering you something 
you know, and this King of Swords is all about the mind. If it's a person, he is very intellectual, capable, um, a strategist, a visionary, a real thinker, quick thinker, logical, reasonable, you know, has reason, that kind of energy. So you might be dealing with somebody like that. Um, we have the Two of Cups here, Scorpio. So the Two of Cups can be, yes, this can be in terms of love, romance, relationships, attraction with somebody, um, a bond being formed. It's almost kind of like that instant bond that's formed with somebody, the Two of Cups, and you just feel like you've known them for years. So for some of you, it can be in terms of love, romance, relationships. Now, yes, this Two of Cups, it can also be to do with, you know, uh, partnerships. So it can be to do with business partnerships, friendships for some of you. Um, the King of Swords, like I said, he can be a strategist. So it can be somebody who is giving you some advice, you know, some professional advice uh, in terms of partnerships or somebody you might be going into partnership with as well, creative projects, uh, setting up something new with, somebody who is a real strategist, visionary, you know, understands how to do business plans, you know, that kind of energy. So you might be dealing with somebody like that too, Scorpio. This can also be you putting a, you know, could be you uh, but I, I'm definitely feeling this king of swords is the energy it can be getting clarity making your mind up in terms of this offer this opportunity that's coming your way an offer or an invitation and it can be in love can be to do with partnerships whatever this resonates for you um, it feels like there is you'll get mental clarity in terms of making decisions or choices so powerful, powerful energy. The two of wands can be a card of choices, which is interesting because we had, there are two paths ahead and we have the two paths here. So the cards are very much in sync here, Scorpio. You have an opportunity, I feel for some of you to go in two directions this month. And the message is you have the clarity or the, the advice from somebody to make the right choice or decision for you. Two of Wands is an empowerment, empowering energy. This is how I'm making choices about my future. You know, you have the key to unlock um, expansion growth, to take action towards a new vision now. And it feels for some of you, there is some kind of new vision, new opportunity, new offer or an invitation coming your way, which will require some kind of choice. But what this offer or an invitation is bringing you, Scorpio, is happiness, joy, success. This is good news, celebration, good set. Sorry, good news, celebration, success, um, abundance, growth, positive energy. You know, so it feels very beautiful here, Scorpio. It feels very beautiful indeed. So I'm just going to clarify this King of Swords. Let's clarify this King of Swords. Let's clarify this King of Swords for Scorpio. Thank you. Yeah, we have temperance. So temperance card is all about getting balance back. And there's definitely this energy here of, it can sometimes be finding the way through a situation, finding the way through a situation, getting balance back. So I definitely feel for some of you can be a card of, of patience, getting balance back in your life, Scorpio. I'm definitely getting the energies between those two. So an opportunity, a vision, some advice, a person coming into your life that is definitely giving you the opportunity to get balance back in your life. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's interesting because this can also be a card of finding your purpose. So it feels it feels in this situation, like I said before, there is some kind of offer, opportunity, invitation coming your way that will require a choice or decision. But it feels like it will make your it's making your mind up about your purpose, how you're moving forward, choices about something that's going to affect your future. But the message is, you know, it looks good going forward. So whatever choice or decision that you make, as long as you trust your intuition, you'll find your flow and understand how to bring success, growth, abundance. Um, yeah, it's the feel good energy, the sun card. Things are about to look up. So it feels very beautiful in this reading. So I'm going to pull a final card, Scorpio. The sun is the most positive card of the tarot deck. Uh, it's a warm energy, it's a positive energy. It's a card of success. Things are beginning to grow. Uh, something taking on new life. You know, it's that kind of energy, whether it's business career, whether it's to do with relationships. There's something that can really grow and flourish and thrive here. Um, and it feels like you're making your mind up about what you want and what you don't want, you know? We have stand up for what you know is right. We are supporting you, number 27. And it feels for some of you, you are being told to stand your ground. There are two paths ahead. Accept happiness where it's offered. And the Two of Cups is happiness, it's joy, it's emotional energy. So for some of you, you're being offered something that is going to bring you joy, either from a person or an opportunity here, but it definitely feels it will require some choice to make. But the message is choose happiness. Because, you know, the sun is the most happy card of the deck. So lovely energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe, Scorpio. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.